we were cut out behind our backs. But there's a shape for things for us. We partner up with Sandy and Stewie with Pierce. Death wrestling ogres. Excited to get into this knife fight? Let's blow it up. You see why everybody's addicted, right? Sorry. Welcome back, everyone. That was a clip of our next guest in the final, yes, and we are sad to say the final season of the HBO mega hit Succession. That's right. He's an Emmy and a Tony Award nominated mm -hmm. actor, and he's here to tell us all about the last season and his new Broadway show, A Doll's House. Please welcome the very, very busy Ariane Moyad. Thank you so much. Ariane! Hey, thank, thank you. So we have to talk about Succession, obviously. Sure. They announced the, the fourth season is going to be the last one. Fans are, you know, heartbroken over this. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it? Also, what's going to happen? <laughs> well, I'm not going to say what's going to happen. Um, I want you guys to all feel it. But yeah, we were, we kind of knew early on that um, Jesse, our amazing showrunner, was kind of interested in ending on a really kind of a strong note. And this last season is, is you know, I think it's a, as Nick Braun says, it's a banger. And it really is. It's just one of the best kind of seasons of television that, um, we're all excited to show to the world. Yes, we're sad. I mean, it's sad that it's ending, but I think we trust Jesse so implicitly that um, that we know that he's going to end it in such a beautiful, meaningful way. So. We're excited about it, yes. And your last week of filming on set was also Tech Week for your new show, A Dollhouse. <laughs> yeah. uh, what a busy and emotional week. What was it like? It was madness. Um, it was the. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. You know, it was the last week of shooting Succession as Stewie Husseini, um, which is a sad kind of just um, end to a, a, a amazing kind of character and, and part. But I was also doing tech for a doll's house on Broadway starring opposite Jessica Chastain. Mm -hmm. So from 4 a.m. to like 1, I was going from succession and doing Stewie. And then at 1 o'clock, they'd rush me over to tech. And I'd do, you know, I'd be playing, playing Torvald from 1 o'clock to like midnight for when tech. When did and you it, sleep? Uh, you, that week was very little sleep. You didn't <laughs> That's really where the B12 comes <laughs> in. That's where the B12 comes in. <laughs> vitamins, <laughs> vitamins, more vitamins, more vitamins. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about A Doll's House. It's one of the most performed plays in the world. Mm -hmm. it's, it was considered revolutionary when it was first written 140 years ago, yeah. which is really hard to think about because it challenged gender norms. And you say it still is really relevant. For those people who don't know this, explain to them. Yeah, Ibsen wrote this unbelievable play about the story of Nora, who is trapped in societal you know, norms and wanting to get out of that. Um, and it's incredibly, I mean, sadly, it's incredibly relevant today because we have so much, you know, um, women's rights are constantly being questioned and moved and switched around. And, and so now all of a sudden we get to do this play on Broadway right now, opposite the amazing Jessica Chastain. And, and um, I'm playing her husband and the two of us are kind of just trying to tell the stories of all these little micro cuts that women have to face every day in this kind of iconic play that was you know, adapted by the amazing Amy Herzog and um, directed by the incredible Jamie Lloyd. So every day we get a chance to come perform this play and see what Nora has to go through. Um, and what's amazing is like everyone's putting their own DNA on this show and mm -hmm. I'm an Iranian immigrant and so all my Iranian family come and see the show and they're sure that the show is about Iran. Oh yeah, because that's in what the I was Robin about to mention. Yeah. yeah, it seems tied to that whole, you know, uh, Iranian women uh, led uh, revolution that's trying that's to right. take place right there. That's Your thoughts right. about the timing of it. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it was it was a miracle. I was shooting a movie in Budapest and then all of a sudden there was this huge protest that happened in Berlin and uh, for the Iranian revolution. And I went to that protest while I was on the airplane reading this play, reading A Doll's House and thinking to myself, wow, it's amazing that this Norwegian play is now relevant to what's happening to the Iranian revolution mm. right now. And, you know, I, like I say, Iranians come and see the show and they think about the Iranian women that are leading this revolution right now. And so that goes to show you the power of art and theater and this gorgeous play that, you know, Jessica Chastain and I get to like hammer at every night. I mean, just, and also, I just want to say, as a, as a theater nerd and an acting nerd, you know, opposite Jessica every day, toe to toe, is just kind of one of the highlights of my uh, career. So uh, I adore her and I adore acting alongside her. And I'm sure she'd say the same thing about you, too. Well, I, I hope so. <laughs> you I, hope I, so. I, no, I, think, I think we get along famously, yeah. All right, Ariane, thank you very <laughs> thank much. You and so the best much. of luck to you as well. And again, A Doll's House is playing now at the Hudson Theater. And be sure to catch the final season of Succession. I hate that it's going Aww. away. Premiering March 26th on HBO. Good to see you, brother. Thank you. Well, hey,
there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.